very young, when I was 16, I went to St. Martin's to do a, a foundation course, and I was going to do fashion, but I got waylaid and became an actress for quite a few years. But um, I suppose I went back to something that I really loved to do. I suppose it helped in a way. Um, it certainly helps when I do a show because I understand perhaps more about hair, makeup, and how girls should really look. But I think if you're, if you want to be a fashion designer, then that's what you want to do. Then you'll do it anyway eventually. If the Princess of Wales wears your clothes and she's photographed, obviously that's that's great and it's an asset. But I mean, there's so many great designers that the Princess of Wales probably can't really wear because it's not quite right for her public image. Who are um, amazing designers so it might help I think it certainly did help very much in, in the past I think she's pretty well sticks to very very few designers now anyway could be seeing an old movie it could be seeing an exhibition it could be um, I mean this season it's it's a lot to do with sort of you know I wanted to be modern and go forward and sort of have light as a theme which was pretty abstract but um, there is this sort of shimmering, glistening thing going through, which is sort of light ref reflecting fabrics. Um, might even see a picture on architecture that, you know, the way the light shines on a building, maybe that's what inspired me. I'm not quite sure. I think I was fed up with retro in this particular instance, and that sort of made me want to go a bit forward and be a bit more modern. But really, in e e everything that I do probably influences me. You can't design for every size so I suppose as I'm small smaller women tend to uh, really go for my clothes on the other hand I always make sure that they're things for the taller women anyway